Hey there, welcome to Dealmakers Decoded. Now this is a series featuring the top dealmakers and their top tip to help you close more deals faster. Today we have Paul Rosen from Fundera. Paul, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Chris. I'd love to get a quick intro about yourself. Um, yeah, so I, I've been uh, at Fundera at this point for about eight months or so. Um, prior to that, I was at Indeed.com for a little over three years. Um, a senior account executive currently at Fundera. Perfect. Thanks for coming on, Paul. Um, what's one thing that you'd want to mention to other people who are in sales or just in deal making positions and how they can be successful as well? Yeah. So one of the biggest tips that I ever gotten from uh, one of my managers early on was having the ability to say no to a customer. Um, you're not going to win every single deal throughout your sales career. Everyone knows that. Um, the ability to walk away from something and not put too much time into it will free up uh, the rest of your day to actually go win deals that you have a shot at. Um, so that was really one of the biggest advice that I received early on um, that I was, you know, have the ability to take through the rest of my sales career. When, when do you typically say no or no when to cross that line? Yeah, so it could be at any point during the process, actually. Um, could be out, you know, throughout the discovery process where you know it's just something that is unattainable, um, just not to waste your time or go through the trenches to try to pull this customer along and win the deal. Mm -hmm. um, it could also be later in the process when, you know, you have uh, your pitch call and you're offering you know, what you have on the table and a customer is coming back to you. It shows your credibility when you stand your ground and say no. Um, so it even puts more power behind the deal. Um, and more often than not, you'll actually see that customer come back down the road. Any specific, well, I mean, if you say no, obviously I can assume there are times when you might say no to somebody and they might not come back. Have you had that Correct. happen or like any, any advice around that? Yeah, of course. That will always happen. Um, customers will always come and go. Um, you won't win every deal, as I mentioned before. Um, people will walk away um, you know, and they might be a little bit stubborn. But again, when you have somebody walk away, when you're, you're putting credibility behind your answer and what you're pitching, uh, you probably weren't going to win the deal anyway, to be totally honest. Mm -hmm. um, so it's best to just turn the page and move on to the next one. Anything else? Any final points or things to think about that you'd, you'd want to recommend? Just try to keep an even keel. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Um, throughout the whole sales process, uh, you know, move on to the next day and take it from there. Awesome. Paul Rosen from Fundera. Paul, thanks for coming on. Next week, we'll have Michelle Lamb, Director of Sales at Indeed, which will be really cool. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thanks again, Paul. Thanks so much, Chris.